Hey everyone, I had some uh, interest in running uh, 110 volt bulbs on this 12 volt uh, system. And um, this system is just meant for lighting. It's not meant for doing anything else uh, using a transformer and a circuit. Um, obviously they're devices you can run straight from a battery. This is a car battery, a 2006 model that I've revived. And uh, you can run you can charge most small electronic devices straight from a 12 volt but not through the circuit like I have so just remember this is only for lighting purposes um, so just make sure you're not confused here these are just uh, cables running to my charger here uh, decided to give the battery a good charge before I showed you on the video how everything worked um, I have a multi multimeter here it's about 11 volts which is about right since I've revived it it was practically two volts whenever I bought bought it from a local auto parts store and um, I fixed it up so it works again it's functional for lights and it works for me so um, these are just cables running into the circuit from the positive and negative um, here's some parts that you may want to buy uh, on Amazon you can buy these bag of leads for fairly cheap and you will need all of them they come in a pack of, I think maybe 10 or 12 of them uh, this is an MPN 203 excuse me MPN 20355 transistor you can get these at uh, Radio Shack and they are about maybe a couple bucks and they're they're fairly fragile so I'd recommend picking up a couple of them, a couple of them if you're planning on trying to circuit out because you will go through them in a hurry um, you can also buy those in bulk online just do a little Google search and you can find some um, but basically what I have here is this MPN transistor is in the circuit the same thing as that what I just showed you it's mounted onto a heat sink so it doesn't get hot the next thing you're going to need is a um, 8 inch ferrite core and you can get this on eBay I think they may maybe 20 bucks and um, I will link you to that if the guy is still selling them um, you can also find ferrite cores inside TVs or radios and you can glue those things together and make a nice long uh, rod out of them and they will work um, but what you want to do next is buy you some of this uh, magnet wire. It's 28-30 gauge maybe. And it uh, comes in a, in a spool. And you just hand wind it like I've done this one here all the way around. All the way from top to bottom on that thing. Okay, once you get that layer down, you want to get some... Uh, I believe this is... I'm not sure to gauge on this. I'll have to double check and post it in the video. Um, I want to say it's maybe uh, 12, 16 gauge maybe. Um, but it's stranded wire. If you can find it in solid at Home Depot, that's what I would get. Um, but you can see that I left the, the, sh the, the uh, shielding on it. So you don't have to strip it down or anything. And just wind it from top to bottom same way. All right. And uh, from that point on, you just got to make sure you got your connections hooked up right. And uh, there's two leads that are, one's going to come off of this end of the coil, and then one's going to come off of, uh, the uh, collector on the transistor. And I'll have all this diagram so you can see it, because I'm sure that this will be very difficult to understand just watching a video. But anyway, um, here's the socket. And um, again, just to make sure you see what I'm talking about here maybe it'll focus here in a second there we go 120 volts AC so I'm not lying when I say this is 120 volts and I got 10.9 volts coming out of this battery alright so I'm going to plug this in and I've done the math on this. You should be able to run 30, 20 to 30 of these LED bulbs if you put these batteries in parallel, not series. 
remember not series if you have more than one of these because it will blow your transistor and your lights so put these rascals in parallel because it'll it'll maintain the same voltage it'll just give you more running hours to your amps so now that's in there i have a little light switch hooked up here coming off the battery just to make it easier but uh i'll flip it on here so you can see so that's pretty bright but you can see the uh, multimeter starting to come down a little bit because the battery's weak. I didn't give it a full charge, but it's it's flickering just a little bit. But anyway, just to show you that it works, um, I'm going to pop in the uh, CFL. Now, I don't recommend running CFLs on this circuit because if you run more than one or two, it's going to make your transistor really hot. So if you have the extra money, buy the LEDs. They're better. More energy efficient anyway but just to show you that it'll work i'll plug it in <clears throat> it may not work in this socket because i've tried it before i usually have to get up in that strip over there to make these work for some reason it doesn't like that socket yeah it's not gonna like that so what i'll do is i'll hook it up over here all right, the CFL would not work because I didn't charge my battery enough. So I decided just to throw the LED back in the power strip over there and just show you that it does work. So it's not terribly bright right now just because I didn't, I didn't have enough time to charge this before the video, but I had some people wanting to see it. So um, anyway, I'll show you a schematic on how to hook all this up and uh, provide a parts list for you. And... Uh, I want to give credit to Laser Saber. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel. He's the one I learned this from, and uh, has some interesting videos on there if you care about electronics and that sort of thing. But I thought this would be a very practical use of battery power for lighting, uh, if you need it. And um, you know, your lights go out one night, you have a battery sitting around, you can you can hook up some lights rather than carrying a flashlight around all the time. So uh, anyway, uh, if you need help with anything. Um, hit me up on facebook.com uh, slash prime preppers or you can check out our website as well and uh, post any comments or whatever and i'll be able to help you out if you need it thanks for watching thanks for watching be sure to click subscribe to get updates directly in your inbox